Hey Mac Geeks, it's Adam. I'm here to give you a quick little video tip, a tutorial on how to get a feature back in OS X Lion that looks like it's gone missing. I received an email from Michael, and Michael used to use the feature in Snow Leopard where he could open up a document, in this case specifically a Pages document, and then use the PDF services to print that document directly into iPhoto. Now, I wasn't even aware this feature was gone, but for example, here's the latest version of Pages in iLife 11. If I open up this little movie poster file and then go under the file menu, go to print, the sheet comes down and down here in the lower left, you have this PDF button. If you click on that, you get a list of your different PDF options, including save to PDF, and then right down here, you have the ability to print to some specific locations. You can add a PDF file to iTunes. In my case, I have Neatworks installed, so I can add PDFs directly to Neatworks. Uh, you can save a PDF document directly into your web receipts folder. And these are enabled through the PDF services in OS 10. Well, there used to be one in here that said something like, save PDF to iPhoto. And as you can see, that is no longer in this list. So the first thing that I thought to do was if you come down to the bottom here, you can edit this menu. And you can see when this sheet comes down, you get a little plus symbol. If you click that, you can actually go out and find any application that you'd like to send a PDF directly to. So I thought, well, we'll just come into applications and we'll find iPhoto, which is right there. Select that. And now we have iPhoto app as an option. Click OK. And I can now select PDF and iPhoto. And that should take this document, generate a PDF, and send it to iPhoto. But as you can see, iPhoto is bouncing in the dock here. So another part of this dilemma, and possibly why the feature was removed, has to do with iLife 11. And you can see I'm getting an error. It's saying the file is unreadable and it could not import this file. So I'm going to click OK. Obviously, it didn't come into iPhoto. And we can con further confirm that iPhoto no longer has support for PDF documents. Um, here's just a BeatWeek magazine PDF file that I have on my desktop. If I try and drag this in and add it into iPhoto, sure enough, I get the same unreadable error. It cannot bring in a PDF. So iLife or iPhoto used to be able to support PDFs. That feature is gone. So maybe uh, this inability for uh, having a direct print to iPhoto option is not a lion limitation, but more a limitation if you've updated to the latest version of iPhoto. I'm not sure uh, when, again, when this feature went missing. But luckily, there is a way that we can solve this. And the way that we can solve this is we can use Automator. So Automator has the ability to create print plugins. So let me close out of this and just so you can see how you start this up. So you launch Automator. Automator will come and bring up the different document types. You select that you want to create a print plugin and hit choose. And that's going to set up your project. And you can see up at the top here, it then says print plugin receives PDF files from the print system. So we're going to get a PDF file. The first thing that we're going to want to do is convert that PDF file to an image. So I'm just searching here to find the automator action that will allow us to take a PDF and turn that into an image file. And we want this uh, render PDF pages as images action. So we drag that in there and that's going to give us some options for setting the color mode. I'm going to go ahead and leave it in RGB. Setting the format, I'm going to go ahead and leave that as JPEG, but you can see you also have options for PDF, portable network graphics, TIFF images, so PNGs, TIFF images, and the resolution and the compression level. I want this to be uh, end up being somewhat printable, so I'm going to set the resolution to 300 dots per inch and set the compression level to high. I'm not really concerned about getting a small file. I want uh, you know the best possible quality going into iPhoto. 
So we put that in there, and then the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is add that to iPhoto. So I'm just gonna filter on my iPhoto actions, and we're gonna say import files into iPhoto as our next action. And we're gonna choose an existing album. It's loading up our different albums here. And then we're just gonna pick the photos album as the destination for this action. And that's it, that's all we have to do. And if we just save this now, it's gonna ask us to name it. I'm gonna name this um, send PDF to iPhoto. and hit save and we can now quit out of automator and you'll see if we go back to our pages document and we once again choose file print and go under the pdf menu we now have a send pdf to iphoto button if we click that sure enough it's going to go it's going to render out this pdf document as a jpeg and add it into iPhoto. And you can see right there, it's now in iPhoto. We can access it. We can zoom in on it. We can edit it just like any other photo and pretty much do whatever we'd like um, with this PDF, which is now a JPEG in iPhoto. So that's how you can get the functionality back. Uh, in case you're wondering, those print services within the Finder, you can find them in your home folder, in the library folder. Now, if you're running Lion, you know, as you can see here, that the library folder does not show up by default. Now, I've added mine to the sidebar. Um, the way you access it, if you don't have it in your sidebar already and you don't see it in your home folder, remember, is you go under the gold Go menu, you hold down the Option key, and you can see there, then the library folder will show up. You can pick that, and that will take you to the library folder. If you want to go ahead like I have and add it to the sidebar, uh, you can go ahead and do that. You can drag it in here. But once you have your library folder and you're inside the library folder, you can scroll down and you'll see a folder called PDF Services. And what you can see here is this iPhoto shortcut. That's the one that got added when we went through the PDF Services menu and just click the little plus button to add an additional uh, item. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that now just by moving it to the trash because I now have my new send PDF to iTunes, to iPhoto, excuse me, workflow that I set up. And that's the action that's called when we select that um, from our print menu here. So I'll show you that again, file print and go under PDF and send PDF to iPhoto. So that is calling that workflow that is in this library PDF services folder. And it's really as simple as that to get that functionality back. So I hope you found this tip useful. If you would like to hear some more of these types of tips, let me know. Send me some feedback, maccast at gmail.com. And until next time, I will talk to you all again real soon.